Hey bro, how are you? Hello. Uh, where can I get the... Okay, so what am I looking for is... Yeah, come on... I'm actually looking for a wall. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Let's just... Uh... Okay, that's a single wall. I've got... Um... Fence, 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 not destroyed. Yeah, this one. Oh, no, this one, this one. Hi, Comrade Matt. <laughs> so, I'm feeling well, and uh, I have decided to work on the fifth mission for my brothers in arms mod and after the fifth mission is complete I'll be releasing the mod on Steam Workshop Yeah, I also saw the notification that you were uh, reviewing about the Vietnam Battalion mod for Call to Arms. Yeah, <laughs> hell of a job from old boy. And the skins, the models he's using, I think that is from the uh, mod that is uh, about to come for Man of Frost All Squad 2. That is the Nam 1968-75, to 75, I think that Bill Ney is uh, working on so yeah <laughs> I'm thinking about making some scenarios in that call to arms editor using that mod <laughs> I love the mod and the mission I just bought 
call to arms because you know uh, the developer said we can buy gets of hell at a cheaper price uh, if we already have call to arms <laughs> from the beginning and also I forgot how call to arms uh, worked because I haven't played call to arms for like two years so <laughs> yeah it's fine at this moment The, the the mission <laughs> yeah you can try but <laughs> you're gonna have some fun on the mission trust me well I also had call to arms bought way back when I made my Delta Force mod on it but as I lost my previous account uh, so I had to buy <laughs> call to arms mana for all over again so yeah it was a heartbroken moment for me after I lost my account and lost all my games well the thing is a uh, new engine is coming so I'm not uh, feeling that uh, well for making any more mods for Men of Soul Squad 2 because Gets of Hell is coming and making mods for Gets of Hell is gonna be awesome by the way new engine new animations new physics new mechanism everything so looking forward to it it's not far <laughs> end of this year I think around October so we don't have that much time left so I just decided to make two more mods for Assault Squad 2 and then off to get of Hell. <coughs> that is this Brothers in Arms and uh, Medal of Honor uh, Allied Assault Breakthrough mod. So after that we are off to get of Hell making new mods, everything, maybe some old mods in the new game engine. <coughs> so yeah, I think a uh, lot of us go are going to be on get of Hell workshop. <laughs> for like 2021 uh, call to arms gets of hell ost front yeah it doesn't matter they have to give the name because uh, they're in uh, like cooperation with digital mindsoft and digital mindsoft is letting them uh, use their engine so they have to give call to arms the credit you know it's digital mindsoft and call to arms have been go like in a bad state no mods no support but uh, they're gonna like make people buy the game call to arms by making people buy gets of hell I think that is a cruel thing but I hope gets of hell will be worth it because we are buying two games yeah exactly <laughs> now you're getting it right Yeah, I don't like the fact because many people are pissed about Call to Arms and uh, Digital Mindsoft is uh, making us buy two games so we have to buy Call to Arms in order to buy Gets of Hell yeah I know it will be worth it but um, not a lot of us like Call to Arms you know I mean I'm happy to be back at Call to Arms because of the new Vietnam Battalion mod by Old Boy, and I'm expecting more missions because I really enjoyed the first mission. I want to make some missions using that mod, but uh, uh, Old Boy is very uh, excellent at making missions using scripts made by TJ Dagger. <laughs> like if you like start the mission. Uh, over and over again the uh, troops will not be at the same position when you start the mission next time that's the most <laughs> like frustrating thing I was like the last time I played the troops were there I brought all my troops to that position and there was no one and suddenly the Vietnamese were firing from another position and then I understood that oh he's using that script uh, the lot of the more time we will start the game the troops will be displaced <laughs> out 
how do you create objects uh, I don't create objects uh, you can find objects on the right panel over here that I'm scrolling there are thousands of objects you can use on the map so this is the resource tab you have human skins tanks soldiers infantry everything you need to create a map and a mission on the right panel over here uh, we don't create objects objects are right there we just modify them Mando production uh, I didn't understand your question what do you mean uh, what do I mean by what <laughs> oh he means uh, create objects yeah you need 3ds uh, max software to create objects and uh, port them on Man of War <laughs> you know the, the the this all these days that I've been not doing mods <laughs> I've been like thinking that uh, did I retire <laughs> from modding I was like uh, oh my god <laughs> I'm not feeling the like uh, urge to mod anymore and then suddenly I just thought that no I have to mod because I love to mod <laughs> oh It's like sometimes you have to custom create everything. Yeah, <laughs> uh, exactly. I was playing Hell Let Loose a lot during that, during this time. <clears throat> I was sick for a couple of days. Uh, you can find it on my community post that I was sick. I had a bad knee injury and also a fever but I am absolutely fine now thank you everyone for asking that how was I <coughs> so yeah I told everyone that I'll be back and I will upload the brothers in arms mod on the workshop Well, I'm absolutely fine now, so yeah, everything is good now. Sometimes you have to custom create everything in Men of War. Use your imagination and like uh, make the thing that you are trying to make. Oh yeah, no, actually I didn't understand the question that uh, Valdorf, uh, Vladov uh, asked, but uh, Comrade Matt made it clear. So thank you, Comrade Matt, that he was asking how to create objects. So he needs 3ds max software. <laughs> oh, I need a I need the castle. Where can I find the castle? Oh yeah, no shit. I need the castle. I forgot where the castle is. That big building. Ah, uh, social. Hey, comrade, 
Matt, uh, do you know where the castle is? I forgot. Uh, yeah, it's social uh, stronghold. Oh yeah, barn of house, I think. No, that's not it. Stronghold. Aha. No, no, no. Uh, wait. Uh. Decor. Monastery. I forgot. Alright, let me check the multi maps. Frozen River, Beerville, Beerville, Winter Church, Winter Hills. I think it's a Winter Hills. It's in Europe. Uh, uh, Euro. Uh, I forgot the castle. Yeah, found it. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Castle strong. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Oh, silly me. It's in Euro. Yeah, down Europe. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Castle strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. I need. Uh, that is bad. I need one of the things. Castle strong. Uh oh, this is big. Uh oh. No, this won't work. Uh, I need only a part of it, but ah, uh, uh, not according to plan, shit. All right. Yeah, that's why I removed it, uh, not according to plan, so I'll think of something alternative. Well, when you start a map, uh, it will look odd at the first, at first, but uh, when you start uh, making more, of it, it will then look uh, like a piece of art. <laughs> All right, so I wish uh, in Gates of Hell the developers uh, like uh, make objects uh, a bit more historically accurate to the time period. You know what I mean, comrade? <laughs> like uh, Company of Heroes have things uh, based on the time period. That is Normandy, 1944. Whereas Men of War Soul Squad 2 has everything, but none of them fits properly to any time period. Like uh, 
Normandy buildings. Uh, I think uh, these are not actual Normandy buildings. And <laughs> the lamp post, the telephone wires are not there. And also, some things are not that much based on the Eastern Front. Yeah, exactly, exactly, comrade. I really want the developers of Gates of Hell to make objects uh, uh, based on the time period, like historically accurate objects, because uh, if we start making maps, I think uh, if they want us to make mods, I think it will be best if we get historically accurate things to make mods. Yeah, 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 now you're getting it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, if we make uh, maps about Eastern Front in Menophore, I think there are a lot of things that are missing from the game. And it's even harder to make uh, the Western Front. Because it's hard to make uh, the Bocage country in Menophore. But now, as there are some other foliage that have been added by modders, I think it's a uh, lot more easier assault contact 2 mod has a lot of things that we can use do I plan grand battle multiplayer in gets of hell the only multiplayer I can make is co-op battles not player versus player player versus AI I can do that yeah sure I'm looking forward to gets of hell a lot and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do after I <laughs> get my hands on the editor of Gets of Hell, like I'm gonna be creating masterpieces because I have learned a lot from Men of War. And uh, Gets of Hell will be the place to like put my experience into work, like make awesome mods, mods that are like bug free, more interesting mods for you guys to enjoy that I've been learning. In Men of Horror Soul Squad 2, a lot of things. Yeah, there are a lot of interesting buildings that could have been implemented. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't wait. This year is gonna be great at the end. <laughs> Alright, so. If I focus on this part of the battle right now, I need minus 30. Oops, minus 20 would be great. Hey comrade, <laughs> how's the voice? <laughs> I really want to hear your commentary, man. Yeah, Alan Garnett de Solo will die the next morning. <laughs> well, if you played my uh, Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30 mod, then you will see the mission buying the farm where Alan and Garnett is already dead. And that was very heartbreaking for me. Comrade, when are you gonna do some commentary, man? Sometimes you inspire me to make my own commentary videos.
Oh, I love the Valor mod. Lots of vehicles. Valor has multiple vehicles, airplanes, a lot of things and uh, I think uh, most of us lack the only one thing that is important in a big battle and that is air strike and air power. A lot of the mods does not focus on air, air power and uh, my recent mod about the desert rats versus Africa corps I introduced uh, I like focused on airstrike by making an airfield uh, uh, like behind the defenses <laughs> and uh, you can manually select any airplane take them off and then bomb the Germans attacking troops and defending ones in single player and co-op I think uh, the last time I saw this kind of uh, mod or uh, mission where both artillery tank and air power was used was in the uh, LRBM mod long range battle mod I think that mod has everything if you played it LRBM long range battle mod big map airfield lots of tanks infantry everything yeah I, I love that mod big battle you can <laughs> like uh, spend the whole day playing that one mission Hey comrade, um, you have been like focusing on the interwar mod and sometimes you do like uh, mod reviews, I mean like upcoming mod you do reviews about them. Why not uh, change the topic a little bit, like mix it up. I know that uh, a lot of people on your channel love the interwar mod. I have seen that. A lot of good comments and views. But um, as a viewer myself, as I'm a viewer of your channel too, uh, how about some uh, mixing things up, new contents? Like, um, uh, you can. You are an excellent uh, story writer. You can create stories on your own in your videos. Like the interwar. I think it's a story made by you. But uh, how about some new topic? Like, uh, I don't know. Uh, US invasion of Russia. Something like that. There is Red Dawn. <laughs> how about Blue Dawn? <laughs> oh no, sorry, not Blue Dawn. Um, yeah, you can try uh, a story about U.S. invasion of Russia. Because I've seen that you are very good at storytelling, man. <laughs>
Well, I would love to see that. <laughs> well, uh, actually, Diplex Heated was doing the like post apocalyptic uh, series in his channel, and now he is not doing it. And then I saw you are doing something like that, and then I was like, yay, a new storyteller. I love stories that are done by Menaphor. So, <laughs> yeah, exciting. Really looking forward to something new from you. DPRK Invasion of Japan. Oh, is that not? Korea or South Korea Hi Anatoly <laughs> Oh yeah, the Dark Rising mod Everything just, just uh, splash Splashes out if you shoot them I played that mod <coughs> Red Rising, Dark Rising Oh, The blood and gore Making Tannenberg, uh, is, are you making a mod, bro? Using the Great War realism? If you play Tannenberg uh, and if you are focusing your work on the actual game then uh, take some screenshots of the game and then uh, like try to create uh, uh, whatever you are trying to create based on those screenshots. All quiet on the Western Front. Uh, yeah, I think it's based on the movie, right? Yeah, I saw the movie. Yeah, it's great. It's an interesting movie. Yeah, there is a new mod uh, from ported from Men of War, I think. The uh, Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan. I checked it out, and oh my God, the camera is stuck. The map 
is not ported well and everything is just uh, like a piece of garbage I was looking forward to playing it and then like oh my god I'm not doing it I think somebody like uh, ported it wrong from Man of War <laughs> well at least uh, well tried it's not his fault for porting it out but um, I was looking forward like maybe someone actually made it better because I played it in Men of War like six years ago and I was looking forward to playing it on AS2 but it was not ported well Sometimes you just have to get stuck, huh? You know how hard it is to recreate maps based on the actual game, <laughs> FPS game. I really have a hard time, like, recreating maps based on actual games like Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, Brothers in Arms. I wish the developers have uh, seen my mods and then gifted me the future games. What mission map are you building? I'm working on the Chateau Colombres mission and uh, I don't know how to make the Chateau well but uh, I'm gonna work on the interior at the end uh, first I have to create a structure of the map so it's the Chateau Colombres fifth mission fifth mission for from brothers in arms earned in blood and I'm really having a hard time recreating this map because I played the map yesterday and uh, it was dark and uh, I had a hard time figuring out which thing is kept where so yeah <laughs> oh boy it was a night mission so I'm r I really had a hard time figuring out uh, what is where because the Germans were shooting Panzer Faust from all direction and I was like checking out the map from behind the steward tank that <laughs> came to the rescue so yeah it was hilarious <laughs> thank you for asking Mando production well bro I'm really looking forward to your Tannenberg mod to uh, share and I would love to play it on my channel how's your injury well it's fine now it's absolutely fine <laughs> thank you for asking bro it's absolutely fine I'm feeling a lot better and that's why I just uh, started streaming the next mission for brothers in arms Hello Drafen, welcome back to the stream bro. Yeah, that would be interesting to see, absolutely. I don't want to get stuck sick, you know. Sick makes me angry. Uh, I cannot, uh, like my parents, restrict a lot of uh, the food that I love to eat uh, if I'm sick. So <laughs> I just like want to recover as fast as I can. Because I really want to eat those foods that I love. 
and if I'm sick, my parents uh, strict is very strict, and my wife uh, she is super strict. <laughs> so I'm happy to be <laughs> cured, you know. Well, um, no, actually, uh, I have plans to make, uh, like, remake my Call of Duty Medal of Honor uh, mods, especially my Call of Duty mod in Gates of Hell, uh, better graphics, better uh, game mechanism, and everything is better, so... Uh, especially my Call of Duty mod, I have planned to port it into Gates of Hell. The rest of the mod will stay in Assault Squad 2 for the players of Assault Squad 2 to enjoy. And uh, I don't know, I'll be continuing my Black Hawk Down Delta Force mod in Assault Squad 2 because uh, I don't think anyone is gonna like port the Cold War or the helicopter hovering script in Gates of Hell as uh, so fast, but it's easy because they're using the Call to Arms engine, so hovering uh, script would be much more easier uh, there. So yeah, I'm totally looking forward to Gates of Hell. Um, I have plans to make a lot of mods over there. I don't know just where to start, uh, like mods based on FPS games or just battles, big battles. <laughs> so yeah, totally confused uh, until I get my hands on the game. But first, I'm not gonna drop into the editor after the game releases, you know. I'll be playing the dynamic camping generator missions on my channel. And also the single player missions and I will wait until they like drop another faction into the game like I'm expecting the US faction as fast as I can because uh, in one of their trailers I have seen the Omaha Beach landing and it was huge and I'm really looking forward to that so yeah I think uh, the couple of months after Gets of Hell release I'll be busy playing the dynamic camping generator missions and the single player missions on my channel so yeah uh, I don't know when I will start the editor but I think it will be next year after I completed everything and uh, in between the next faction arrives on Gets of Hell No, I don't, uh, uh, Crimson Enforcer, I don't use any, uh, like, uh, uh, guide or reference image to make maps. I play the mission uh, a couple of times, I copy everything on my brain, and then <laughs> I start creating it. That's the way I have created a lot of maps, based on actual games. No, 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 I think uh, Gates of Hell other factions might not come as a DLC, but if it does, I'm putting my money into it because uh, I'm really looking forward to the game. A lot of us are because we have been bored with Men of War, Assault Squad 2. Wait a minute, I have to make the ground a bit higher over here. 30.
Well, uh, I was looking forward to the closed beta, but um, the developers uh, don't want to waste time on the closed beta. They have uh, already selected their testers, beta testers, and uh, they are ready to release the game. As soon as the closed beta is over, uh, all bugs are fixed, all errors are uh, like fixed, everything is done, green light is given, and they will release the game. Aishnale Meyer, thank you. <laughs> yeah, working on the next mission for Brothers in Arms uh, because I want to release this mod after making this mission. Uh, it's all in my memory. Every map that I have made was all on my memory. Because, you know, I really love the World War II franchise that was done over the last decade from 2000 to 2010. Uh, those, uh, those decades, World War II games were amazing and uh, I was a fan of those games and I have played each of those games like uh, over 20 times. So each map is posted on my brain, like what things are given where so uh, I don't use uh, reference images I just uh, use reference image from my brain memory <laughs> I played it <laughs> like yesterday because I forgot about the Chateau Columbus map and now everything is just uh, fine minus 10 You know which mod I really enjoy making? Uh, Medal of Honor mods. Spearhead and Allied Assault was one of the best map making that was done. Everything was like uh, it was short and uh, it was nostalgic. So I really enjoyed making the maps from Medal of Honor series. And Breakthrough is coming. <laughs> I wanna make breakthrough and complete it before Gates of Hell arrives. Yeah, well, good talking to you, comrade Matt. <laughs> Drop by sometimes on my live stream so we can chat, you know. Yeah, I'm looking forward to your videos also. I really check all your videos that come on uh, my timeline. Yeah, sure, Mando. <laughs> Hi, Alex.
Um, Alex, uh, I cannot like translate your text, so it would be very helpful if you translate them and then send them to me on my chat. Thank you. Well, um, there's only one thing I can say and it will sound very funny to you. I'm bad at making minimaps. Honestly, I'm really bad at making minimaps. That's why sometimes I don't make minimaps for my missions. I'm absolutely telling the truth and I know it's very funny to hear. <laughs> because I'm a mod maker and I don't know how to make good minimaps. <laughs> So, no advice from this sad fella who can't make minimaps. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at making minimaps. Don't make fun of me. How to cut down a map in size polygons look select polygons cut the map fill up the map and then use clip and like ex extend or de-extend the clips and the map will be cut down that's it <sighs> that's all I can say Yeah, I played Brothers in Arms recently, you know, for creating the maps, and it was still very fun. Absolutely fun to play. It. Yeah, keep trying bro the more you use the gem editor the more you will learn about a lot of stuff So the structure of the map is complete, uh, now the hard part, uh, detailing the map from top to bottom.
Alright, this place has been burned, that's why I'm coloring it black. Um, Terminator has object limits around 500 per group. Really? I never have heard anything like this. And as far as my map making, I copy and paste a lot of things, and uh, I am really not sure what that means. Bro, uh, Crimson Bro, instead of editing another map, it's best if you just create your own map, you know. Oh boy, a lot of things are hard to make. Fence. I think that's a wrong thing you can use uh, unlimited stuff on your maps <laughs> All right let's add trees everyone I have covered uh, most of the things I think now <laughs> this is the intro point of the map and yeah, it's uh, covered
Let's add trees. will be a night mission so I don't have to edit the texture of the trees that's fine so the mission starts from this position and then moves on to the chateau oh I have to make a lot of things Will there be models from BIA? Excellent question. Uh, there you go. The answer to your question. And a lot of thanks to Anatoly for uh, making them and sharing them with me on my mod. So here you go. Does these things look familiar to you? Look, 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 look. Here's the main character. Remember him, everyone? This is Joe Hartsock, the man, the hero of our Brothers in Arms Earned in Blood storyline. And these are the Germans. Ooh, look at them. All these things are thanks to Anatoly. Anatoly has ported these things and have shared them with me on my mod and have also given the permission to share these things with you guys also you guys want to see more things uh, look at this uh, you guys will be getting these things this is the actual gun from the game made by uh, ported by Anatoly how great is that wait let me show you guys more don't go anywhere look at this look at this <laughs> these things will make the mod more authentic you know so all of you guys are gonna get these things when the mod releases and the mod will look more authentic you know I'm the guy Stormfear PK who makes mods based on World War 2 games and other games like I'm the maker of Call of Duty 1 and 2 United Offensive Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, Medal of Honor, Spearhead, Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30, Call of Duty, World at War. So remember the name, Stormfear PK, and I have a lot of good friends, and there are also excellent guys who can port things uh, into Metaphor Assault Squad 2. For example, Wodzu, Anatoly, Mr. Carmine, VLSS, uh, uh, Ghosteron, who helped me with my Company of Heroes mod. So yeah, thanks to those guys for helping me with all my mods along these years that I have been making. So I make them, you guys play them, enjoy them. And it will not stop because I'll be making more mods in Gates of Hell as well, you know. More nostalgic mods. Because, you know, the Gets of Hell engine is much more better than Metaphor Assault Squad 2. So, mods will be much more better over there. Alright, everyone. Get excited, man.
I know you guys will be excited to see the things uh, on this mod <laughs> that are going to be coming. So all these things are thanks to Anatoly. Company of Heroes 2 mod. I think Company of Heroes 2 will be much more better in Gates of Hell rather than Men of Soul Squad 2 because you know Gates of Hell is mostly focused on the Russian campaign at the start of the release. So yeah, Company of Heroes mod will be much more better over there. Me and the boys modding in Gates of Hell. Really? You're already in Gates of Hell? Jakub, I did not understand. Me and the boys modding in Gates of Hell, what does that mean? Does that include me? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I see. Okay, looks like my wife is calling me for dinner and uh, we have done a lot on the map. So thank you guys for watching. It's good to be back after a short injury and uh, back with a bang on Brothers in Arms Earned in Blood. So thank you guys for dropping in on the stream. I really appreciate seeing you guys here. And I think a lot of you, a lot more of you guys were in today's stream than before. I really appreciate your uh, useful time given to me on my streams and chatting with me, everyone. Thank you. I really love to do mods for you guys and all of your feedbacks really helped me a lot with making more mods. So, thank you everyone. And I'll be ending the stream now and uh, see you guys on the uh, gameplay video of this mission and uh, the mod will also be released on the day the gameplay is revealed all right is posted so thank you guys for dropping in on today's stream really appreciate your time given to me on my streams chatting with me helping me a lot you guys are great. I really enjoy making mods for you guys. So, I'll be going now and I'll be back with the gameplay video of this mission. Bye everyone. Have a great day and also good luck to us on Gets of Hell. <laughs> Cheers everyone. Bye. See you guys soon on another live stream. Bye everyone. Bye.